In mathematics, the Hodge conjecture is a major unsolved problem in the field of algebraic geometry that relates the algebraic topology of a non-singular complex, algebraic variety and the subvarieties of that variety. More specifically, the conjecture says that certain RHAM cohomology classes are algebraic, that is, they are sums of Poincaré duals of the homology classes of subvarieties. It was formulated by the Scottish mathematician William Valence Douglas Hodge as a result of a work in between 1930 and 1940 to enrich the description of de RHAM cohomology to include extra structure that is present in the case of complex algebraic varieties. It received little attention before Hodge presented it in an address during the 1950 International Congress of Mathematicians, held in Cambridge. Massachusetts, U.S. The Hodge conjecture is one of the Clay Mathematics Institute's Millennium Prize problems, with a prize of $1 million for whoever can prove or disprove the Hodge conjecture. Motivation. Let X be a compact complex manifold of complex dimension n. Then X is an orientable smooth manifold of real dimension 2n, so its cohomology groups lie in degrees 0 through 2n. Assume X is a Kala manifold, so that there is a decomposition on its cohomology with complex coefficients, where HPQ is the subgroup of cohomology classes which are represented by harmonic forms of type. That is, these are the cohomology classes represented by differential forms which, in some choice of local coordinates z1, zinc, can be written as a harmonic function times taking wedge products of these harmonic representatives corresponds to the cup products in cohomology. So the cup products is compatible with the Hodge decomposition. Since X is a compact-oriented manifold, X has a fundamental class. Let Z be a complex sub-manifold of X of dimension K, and let I, ZX be the inclusion map. Choose a differential form alpha of type. We can integrate alpha over Z. To evaluate this integral, choose a point of Z and call it 0. Around 0, we can choose local coordinates Z1, zinc on X such that Z is just ZK plus 1 equals equals zinc equals zero. If p greater than k, then alpha must contain some dzi where z pulls back to zero on z. The same is true if q greater than k. Consequently, this integral is zero if, more abstractly, the integral can be written as the cap products of the homology class of z and the cohomology class represented by alpha. By Poincaré duality, the homology class of Z is dual to a cohomology class which we will call Z, and the cap products can be computed by taking the cup products of Z and alpha and capping with the fundamental class of X. Because Z is a cohomology class, it has a Hodge decomposition. By the computation we did above, if we cup this class with any class of type, then we get zero. Because H2n equals Hn, n, we conclude that Z must lie in Hnk, nk. Loosely speaking, the Hodge conjecture asks, which cohomology classes in Hk, k come from complex subvarieties Z? Statement of the Hodge conjecture, let. We call this the group of Hodge classes of degree 2k on x. The modern statement of the Hodge conjecture is, Hodge conjecture, let x be a non-singular complex projective manifold, then every Hodge class on x is a linear combination with rational coefficients of the cohomology classes of complex subvarieties of x. A projective complex manifold is a complex manifold which can be embedded in complex projective space. Because projective space carries a Kala metric, the Fubini study metric, such a manifold is always a Kala manifold. By Cho's theorem, a projective complex manifold is also a smooth projective algebraic variety, that is, it is the zero set of a collection of homogeneous polynomials. 
Reformulation in terms of algebraic cycles Another way of phrasing the Hodge conjecture involves the idea of an algebraic cycle. An algebraic cycle on X is a formal combination of subvarieties of X, that is, it is something of the form. The coefficients are usually taken to be integral or rational. We define the cohomology class of an algebraic cycle to be the sum of the cohomology classes of its components. This is an example of the cycle class map of de RHAM cohomology, C vial cohomology. For example, the cohomology class of the above cycle would be. Such a cohomology class is called algebraic. With this notation, the Hodge conjecture becomes. Let X be a projective complex manifold. Then every Hodge class on X is algebraic. The assumption in the Hodge conjecture that X be algebraic cannot be weakened. In 1977 Zucker showed that it is possible to construct a counterexample to the Hodge conjecture as complex Tory with analytic rational cohomology of type, which is not projective algebraic. Known cases of the Hodge conjecture, low dimension and co-dimension The first result on the Hodge conjecture is due to Lefschetz. In fact, it predates the conjecture and provided some of Hodge's motivation. Theorem classes Any element of H2H1 1, 1 is the cohomology class of a divisor on X. In particular, the Hodge conjecture is true for H2. A very quick proof can be given using sheaf cohomology and the exponential exact sequence. Lefschetz's original proof preceded by normal functions, which were introduced by Henri Poincaré. However, Griffith's transversality theorem shows that this approach cannot prove the Hodge conjecture for higher codimensional subvarieties. By the hard Lefschetz theorem, one can prove theorem. If the Hodge conjecture holds for Hodge classes of degree p p less than n, then the Hodge conjecture holds for Hodge classes of degree 2 n minus p. Combining the above two theorems implies that Hodge conjecture is true for Hodge classes of degree 2 n minus 2. This proves the Hodge conjecture when x has dimension at most 3. The Lefschetz theorem on classes also implies that if all Hodge classes are generated by the Hodge classes of devices, then the Hodge conjecture is true. Corollary. If the algebra is generated by HDG1, then the Hodge conjecture holds for X. Hypersurfaces by the strong and weak Lefschetz theorem. The only non-trivial part of the Hodge conjecture for hypersurfaces is the degree M part of a 2 meters dimensional hypersurface. If the degree d is 2, i.e., x is a quadric, the Hodge conjecture holds for all m. For m equals 2, i.e., 4 folds, the Hodge conjecture is known for abelian varieties. For most abelian varieties, the algebra HDG asterisk is generated in degree 1, so the Hodge conjecture holds. In particular, the Hodge conjecture holds for sufficiently general abelian varieties, for products of elliptic curves, and for simple abelian varieties of prime dimension. However, Mumford constructed an example of an abelian variety where HDG2 is not generated by products of divisor classes. Vile generalized this example by showing that whenever the variety has complex multiplication by an imaginary quadratic field, then HDG2 is not generated by products of divisor classes. Moonen and Arhan proved that in dimension less than 5, either HDG asterisk is generated in degree 1, or the variety has complex multiplication by an imaginary quadratic field. In the latter case, the Hodge conjecture is only known in special cases. Generalizations The integral Hodge conjecture Hodge's original conjecture was Integral Hodge conjecture, let X be a projective complex manifold. Then every cohomology class in H2 KHK K is the cohomology class of an algebraic cycle with integral coefficients on X. This is now known to be false. The first counterexample was constructed by Atia and Herzebrook. Using K-theory, they constructed an example of a torsion Hodge class, that is, a Hodge class alpha such that for some positive integer n, n alpha equals zero, 
Such a cohomology class cannot be the class of a cycle. Totaro reinterpreted their result in the framework of cobordism and found many examples of torsion classes. The simplest adjustment of the integral Hodge conjecture is integral Hodge conjecture modulo torsion. Let X be a projective complex manifold. Then every cohomology class in H2 K H K K is the sum of a torsion class and the cohomology class of an algebraic cycle with integral coefficients on X. Equivalently, after dividing H2 K H K K by torsion classes, every class is the image of the cohomology class of an integral algebraic cycle. This is also false. Colle found an example of a Hodge class alpha which is not algebraic, but which has an integral multiple which is algebraic. The Hodge conjecture for Carla varieties A natural generalization of the Hodge conjecture would ask. Hodge conjecture for Carla varieties Naive version. Let X be a complex Carla manifold. Then every Hodge class on X is a linear combination with rational coefficients of the cohomology classes of complex subvarieties of X. This is too optimistic, because there are not enough subvarieties to make this work. A possible substitute is to ask instead one of the two following questions. Hodge conjecture for Carla varieties, vector bundle version. Let X be a complex Carla manifold. Then every Hodge class on X is a linear combination with rational coefficients of churn classes of vector bundles on X. Hodge conjecture for Carla varieties, coherent sheaf version. Let X be a complex Carla manifold. Then every Hodge class on X is a linear combination with rational coefficients of churn classes of coherent sheaves on X. Poisson proved that the churn classes of coherent sheaves give strictly more Hodge classes than the churn classes of vector bundles and that the churn classes of coherent sheaves are insufficient to generate all the Hodge classes. Consequently, the only known formulations of the Hodge conjecture for Carla varieties are false. The generalized Hodge conjecture Hodge made an additional, stronger conjecture than the integral Hodge conjecture. Say that a cohomology class on X is of level C if it is the push forward of a cohomology class on a C codimensional subvariety of X. The cohomology class is of level at least C filter the cohomology of X. And it is easy to see that the CTH step of the filtration end CHK satisfies Hodge's original statement was generalized Hodge conjecture, Hodge's version. Groth and Eke observed that this cannot be true, even with rational coefficients, because the right-hand side is not always a Hodge structure. His corrected form of the Hodge conjecture is Generalized Hodge conjecture, NCHK is the largest sub-Hodge structure of HK contained in this version is open. Algebraicity of Hodge loci. The strongest evidence in favor of the Hodge conjecture is the algebraicity result of Catany, Deline and Kaplan. Suppose that we vary the complex structure of X over a simply connected base. Then the topological cohomology of X does not change, but the Hodge decomposition does change. It is known that if the Hodge conjecture is true, then the locus of all points on the base where the cohomology of a fiber is a Hodge class is in fact an algebraic subset, that is, it is cut out by polynomial equations. Catany, Deline and Kaplan proved that this is always true, without assuming the Hodge conjecture.